Hey guys, so yeah, I am doing a video today and it is not gonna be with me on the camera because I look horrible and I just do not care. But I wanted to just get on here and speak because I just feel so led to speak. And I have been running my mouth all day on Snapchat. Like I just keep having things to say and I don't, I can't hold it. Like a lot of times, like I don't say things but a lot of times I do because I feel like people need to hear real life shit because at the end of the day all the shit that we be stressing about matters to nobody and all we really need to be worried about is how we gonna get into the gates of heaven how we gonna provide for our families how we gonna be the best version of ourselves that we can be that is all everybody needs to worry about if more people could just learn to love themselves and learn to deal with their own issues and deal with their own drama and deal with their own insecurities and their own, like, everything. Own up to everything that you feel weak or bothered or irritated in when you see other people shining and thriving in those areas. Like, for real. I am one of the most supportive people you will ever freaking meet. I don't hate on nobody. I don't hate on nobody. You want to know why I don't hate on nobody? It's not because I don't want certain things or that I don't wish my life was in a certain place. It's because what's for other people is not for me. Or if it is for me, it's not for me at that time. So I can't worry about that. I'm so blessed in so many other areas of life. Like, I can't worry about what I don't have. All I can do is work harder to get those things that I want. I am so blessed that I wake up every day with no health issues. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so blessed that my husband wakes up in the same breath I do and comes home to me every single day. Do you know how much of a blessing that is? To every day... He comes home to me. Like, y'all, y'all don't understand. Like, I'm getting emotional and I'm trying not to because, like, I wasn't, this wasn't supposed to be an emotional video. But I guess it might get emotional because I'm speaking some real shit. And I know whoever will sit there and listen to this video, y'all going to understand and feel me. If you really understand real life shit and you not childish and you not stuck on no dumbass shit and you really want to hear the truth, you're going to feel everything I'm saying. Because I'm not perfect by no fucking means. I have had so many issues in my life that I caused. Being a bitch, being mad, being bitter, being miserable. I was in a whole friendship with a fucking female who was feeding my negativity like she was feeding a dog. I was in such a negative space when I was friends with this person. And instead of this person trying to better me and try to tell me, yo, Drea, you, you, you talk a lot of shit. Like you, you mad? Like what's going on? You know what she do? She feed the shit. She encourages the shit. She loves the shit. This girl will come to my house. This girl would come to my house, y'all, just so I could talk shit about people that I was cool with or people that I didn't like. And she would do the same thing. Like, do you know how toxic and ridiculous that sounds? But that's what it was. And you want to know what the bad, the, the saddest part of all of that is the same reason that we connected so well was the same reason she caught herself not wanting to be friends with me anymore. <laughs> like, girl, you were one of the most toxic people I have ever met. And I should have been left your ass alone. But I was, I'm one of those people, and y'all will get to learn that as I get more deep with getting to y'all to get to know me. That I have a very hard time of letting go of, of letting go of bad situations or bad people. Like I have a massive issue with holding on to negativity. And I'm trying to do so much better with that. 
I'm trying to release so much of that energy because I no longer want to live like that. I know that I have a purpose and it's not to be a negative Nancy and a miserable Mar uh, Myrtle. Whatever I was going through at that time, I went through that for a reason. Like God got me in a place right now where I have really sat down with myself and really realized a lot of things about me. And I'm learning to love me and I'm learning to deal with the things about me that I don't love. And I'm still working on me. I still got shit I got to work on. But for the, for, the, for the first time in my life, I can really truly say I am at full peace with myself and with the world. With the people that don't like me, with the people that do like me. Regardless, I don't give a fuck. And it's not saying that and like I don't care about the people that do because I do. I very much care about the people that care about me. But at the same breath, I don't have to. I, I didn't come into this world with nobody and I'm not going out in this world with nobody. Me and God got to have a discussion on judgment day on where the hell I'm going. And it ain't going to be with my friends. It's not going to be with my family. It's not going to be with my husband. It's going to be with what, me and God. So at the end of the day, he the only one I need to be worried about. And focused on making sure I keep going and doing the right thing. So that when I meet him, that's the person that needs to tell me about me. Anybody in this world... And I ain't talking about like my mom and them, but I'm talking about like just people. If you're not walking in my shoes, if you're not moving so close to God, please don't come for me. Because nobody needs to come for nobody. Who are anybody to check anybody on anything, bro? Who are anybody? Can you, let, let, let that sink in real quick, y'all. Who the fuck is anybody to judge anybody or come for anybody about anything? Regardless of how you feel. And I'm not talking about like murder and shit. But I'm talking about like simple shit. Like how people raise their kids or... And I'm not talking about the ones that abuse them. I ain't talking about anything serious. I'm just talking about surface shit that nobody really should come for nobody on. Like their sexuality. Who they choose to chill with. Who... what, Who's a hoe? Who's not? Why does it matter who the fuck bitches sleep with? A nigga sleep with? Dude, what does it matter? Are they bothering you? Only person you and me worry about is the person you laid up with now. The person you laid up with is messing around with every time Dick and Harry or every set Susie, Sally, and uh, Sarah, then yeah, then you do need to worry about that. But for those who's just chilling or watching it on YouTube or watching it on Facebook or Snapchat or Instagram or however the hell you watch y'all favorite couples or y'all favorite people, stop coming for them. They're people. They're going to make these decisions and mistakes. They just happen to be celebrities or influencers or people that are just really popular on social media. But that don't give everybody the right to come for them or judge them or make them feel a certain way. We ain't, nobody ain't perfect. Just because you yourself won't do certain things don't give you the right to judge other people that will. Only God need to worry about people that's out here doing shit they ain't got no business doing. If God ain't handling them, then you don't need to be worried about it. Because I promise you, if you pray for people and you pray for people to get their shit together, God will work on you and them. Promise you. Sorry, guys. I had to restart my phone because you know how technology the want to do. But yeah, like I was saying, um, you know, we can't worry about what other people got going on. If it's not affecting you fully... Or if it's not like causing harm to a child or a person or anybody like mentally or physically, then we don't need to worry about it. Like y'all put too much energy into worrying about who's sleeping with who. If you're not the person that's in the relationship with that person, then you don't need to worry about them. We need to stop worrying about things that are so unimportant. We need to focus all this energy on God and, you know, figuring out why so many people are going missing and human rights and animal rights and just things that are important all this petty shit fighting and all that woo woo what does that accomplish what does that really matter at the end of the day because at the end of the day i understand some things deserve to ass whooping because i don't have some situations that i've had to handle some shit but at the end of the day that ass whooping really didn't solve anything. It just made me feel better or the person feel better at that time. When really our bitch was sore. <laughs> but listen, I'm getting way off topic. 
and like I feel like I'm losing focus. So I'm gonna like rule it back in real quick. My main thing is y'all, we need to just focus on ourselves. And if we wanna put things out into the world, it needs to be positivity. It needs to be love. It needs to be some it needs to be encouragement. Because there's so many hurt people out here. You don't have a clue what people going through, bruh. People losing their family members. This COVID done took so many people from us. It don't make no sense. Cancer done took so many people from us. It don't make no sense. Strokes. All that shit. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting emotional because this shit real. People dying every single day. They gone out of just gone. And we out here fighting and causing drama and talking shit about each other and doing all this shit. And you never know the next day that people could be gone. Like, if we could just learn to love more and put all this bullshit aside, real shit. And stop giving people their flowers when they dead and give them to them while they're alive. And support each other and love each other and uplift each other. Instead of you judging somebody, why don't you encourage them to do better? Why don't you sit down and try to talk to the person? Maybe you can influence them to be better. And if they still choose to be that way, then guess what? That's not your that's not your business anymore. You did what you could do. Move on. Let God deal with that. God is a is a powerful person. He can handle everything and everyone. Y'all need to just let him do that. Y'all be so worried about everybody's business and everybody's shit, and it's not that serious. Y'all need to love people instead of hating on people, instead of making people feel less than or low, or and and and, and all this getting on the bandwagon and jumping on shit. Like y'all gotta do better, man. We as the people gotta do better. This shit's sick. How toxic we can really be to each other, and for what? For what? But yeah, love each other, man. Stop all this bullshit. Stop fighting. Stop hating on each other. Support each other. Love each other. Find a way to get over whatever the fuck. If a person ain't fucking kill you or rape you or beat you or hurt your kids or something that's just truly unforgivable, then let that shit go and move the fuck on. Now, there are some things that are just not forgivable. And I mean, I'm not going to speak on those things, but because that's not the moment. That's not what I'm speaking on. That could be another video. We can get serious and deeper on a different level. But the, today was just solely to try to spread some positivity and awareness to like, let's just really stop being so hateful to each other and let's really come together. Stop feeding negativity, y'all. It is so sick how people feed negativity. When people get into fights and they go live on Facebook and shit and people going through whatever, like when all the drama was going on over the weekend, everybody running their lives, including myself, because it's the normal thing to do when you when you want the tea, you want to know what happened. But that's so sick and toxic. We got to stop, including myself, being so quick to jump on something negative. We need to be more hype about positivity. We need to care more about the positive things and support things that will really be motivational and help people instead of running to something that's so negative and bringing somebody down regardless of who you're talking about so if i could have done one thing today and it's that's to spread some awareness i pray to god that who's ever listening to this video even if it's just one person that you took something from today um whatever you're going through it's gonna be okay god is gonna help you you just gotta sit down and be still you got to ask him to handle whatever's going on. And I promise you, he's going to move mountains. But you got to be still. And you got to love. And you got to forgive. And you got to move on. Because holding on to anything that's not going to better you, it's not going to help you. It's going to hinder you. And I mean everything I'm saying. And I just pray that I reach somebody. And I hope that this resonates and really, really, really touches somebody. Because... When I speak, I mean it so much. Like, I don't get like this. I don't, people really come to me. Like, you'll be surprised, y'all, how many people call me and come to me when they're in, like, their darkest of hour, hour. Because I have a gift of speaking. God gave me a beautiful, articulate voice. 
And he gave me the voice of healing and consolement and love. And I don't you I, I don't say these things to boast myself, but I pride myself in being someone that people can come to when they're going through something. Because everybody isn't that person. Everybody ain't gonna be able to tell you or say things to make you feel better. But I pride myself in being able to be able to be that voice for someone that is going through whatever they're going through. So with that being said, you guys, I might start doing more videos like this where I literally just pick up the camera and talk. Um, and don't have to actually have to be on camera. Um, I kind of like the little podcast video type setup. It's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of like going live without going live because I am going to upload this. But um, if you guys want a chance to win $25, <sighs> I've talked so much. I'm running out of breath. So sorry, guys. Whew. If you guys want to have a chance to win $25, all you have to do is subscribe to all of my social media. I will have all of the social media um, posted on the screen somewhere. Um, I will have the rules posted somewhere and in the description. But I will go ahead and quickly tell you guys again, um, you just have to subscribe to the channel. You have to you have to comment on every single video. You have to, even if it's just done, um, that I subscribed and that I want a chance to win. It doesn't matter what you say. Um, just subscribe and say something and then make sure you're subscribed. Turn on your post notifications so that when I post, you guys will get them quicker. Um, tell your friends. If you guys follow me on social media, share my videos. I would love and I, I support those who support me. So I even support those who don't support me. But that's neither here nor there. But yes, guys, I just want you guys to um have a chance to win this money it's not a lot of money but for some people $25 could be a lot so and I work hard for my money I'm not monetized with YouTube yet I'm just barely getting my feet wet with YouTube I'm not even at the, the point where I'm even making a check or even a dollar from YouTube I do all of this on my free time and I do all of this because I love YouTube and I love doing content and I love talking to people and I just love doing this. So I'm not really fully doing this so I can get a bag, but I do want to get a bag. So help me, guys. I really, really want this. I really, really want this. So I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. Thank you so much if you got to the end of the video. Again, subscribe to my channel. There's going to be way more videos coming. Um, I hope you guys like this kind of video. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know. I will start doing more podcasty type videos. In the future, I might even get a podcast. So, yeah. All right, guys. Bye.